first you have to log in. There are three different places on the site to log in. If you're not registered on the site yet, check with your teacher or email Paul Allison at allisonpr at gmail.com. After you enter your username and your password, you will see a new link for your member home on the member bar in the orange row at the top of the site. When you move your mouse over the member home or click the tiny down arrow, you will see several sub-menu items. Click on Create Discussion. Next, you will see the Add New Post Forms, which will ask you for several things. The first time you are in here, you should collapse all of the boxes below the text box and move them so that Image in Inject is at the top and the podcast episode details comes next, then the license. This isn't required, it just makes it easier to see what you need to do on this page. Now scroll back to the top and enter a clever title that will grab your reader's attention. I like to tell students in New York to write a New York Post title. Then either write your post in the visual text box, or better yet, Paste your text from a Google document that you have already revised and proofread. Next, you need to add an image for your post, and we'd like you to use a Creative Commons image. So go to Image Inject to find free images. Enter a keyword, then hit Search, and wait for the thumbnails to load. When you find an image that you want to use, hit the Featured Image box. This uploads a citation at the bottom of your post, and it uploads that image to the Youth Voices Media Library. Now you have to go find that image and set it as the Featured Image. Find the link in the right column that says Set Featured Image and click on it. This will take you to the Media Library and the image you chose should be the first one in the top left corner. Click on the image you want once, wait for it to load, then click the blue Set Featured Image box in the lower right. Your image should now appear in the Featured Image box. Next, you need to choose at least one category and you need to write five tags to identify what your post is about. You could go ahead and publish your discussion post right now, but there are a couple of other choices you might want to make also. The default license for your post says that others can use your work if they give you credit. If you want to change this, look in the license box for other options. Also, in the Publish box under Visibility, you can choose to publish your work to everybody, which is the default and what we prefer, or you can keep it private, which means that only teachers and administrators on the site will be able to see it. There's one more place to choose how public you want your post to be. If you scroll down to the bottom right, you will see an Access box. This allows you to hide your post from the general public and only allow other members of Youth Voices in these groups to see your post. You could, for example, hide it from everybody except other Youth Voices members in your school or for other members who are older than 13. Keep in mind that teachers and administrators on the site can see everything. We would love it if you are comfortable to publish your work for the world to see, but sometimes there are posts that might not be appropriate for younger members of Youth Voices or a general audience to read. Whatever you choose, you can change it later. Finally, you are ready to hit publish. Have no fear, you can still edit it later.